Well, the, the first simple answer is why not? Uh, this will be a natural next step, I think, of the Qualcomm uh, diversification. I think we see a lot of growth uh, happening in this space for decades to come. And uh, we have some technology that can add real value added. So I think we have a very disruptive CPU. Also, the, the age of AI is changing how the data center is. It's now at an AI data center. And we believe we can contribute over our, our AI our CPU and then we also have the ability to run very efficient power efficient AI so it's another important step in the diversification of the company and I think there's an opportunity for Qualcomm. Specifics what is the timeline for the launch of your CPUs and when can we expect those to be deployed in the data center? Yes uh, look great question very soon very soon we're gonna make uh, uh, an announcement about our product roadmap and details. I think what you started to see is pieces of information that started to come here and there last week in in the uh, Kingdom of Saudi Arabia uh, during the uh, meeting of many business leaders to the Middle East. Uh, we announced with Humane, which is the Saudi Arabia AI company, that they're going to be using our chips in their data center. That was the first one. Here at uh, Computex, I think we're now part of the NVIDIA ecosystem, announcing as our CPU uh, with NVLink as an interface. And then we just uh, kind of said that we're going to soon announce our product roadmap. Very soon, I think we, we're going to provide a lot of detail, and we're very excited about this next chapter of the Qualcomm diversification. Now, this is a market that is, is incredibly saturated already. You've got the hyperscalers like Amazon, Microsoft, and Google with their own custom CPUs. You've got the likes of AMD and Intel in this market as well. Is there much space for a new entrant at this point, though? It's interesting. I, look, I love to I love to answer this question, Arjun. I, this is the question that I got at the time we wanted to enter in automotive, and even people said without an acquisition, Qualcomm won't be able to succeed in automotive. We needed to buy one of the existing players. This is the same question when uh, we enter the PC space, especially on PC. Everybody told us this is a market that there's no room for another player. And I think I look at this for the data center the same way we look at those opportunities. As long as there, there, we can build a great product, we can bring innovation, and we can add value with some disruptive technology, there's going to be room for Qualcomm, especially in the data center. It's a very large addressable market that we'll, that we'll see a lot of investment for decades to come. And how big a business do you think this can be for Qualcomm? Can you put a number on it? Uh, look, right now, the public numbers that we put in is we're super focused on the $22 billion of edge uh, uh, diversification. We said that on our last investor day across everything we're doing from automotive to PC to industrial uh, to spatial computing to networking. I think we're not forecasting the data center, but uh, look, we, we're going we're gonna to bring products. I think our products are going to add value, and that opportunity is going to build for us over time.